everyone. In the definition show, I often ask this question to my guest. What is your favorite Kubernetes feature? Well, let's find out the answers. You can't choose two? Can, can it have more than one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, the most basic thing, of course, is the fact that you can, you know, make a deployment that can then automatically schedule your uh, workload onto the machines that's available, right? That's, not, that's number one, and you can scale it. Um, but then after that, I think the other really critical feature is uh, uh, the health checking that can, you know, do some of the automatic health checks and restarts. I mean, to me, that's the most basic fundamental uh, application lifecycle features that everyone should be using. And... Um, you know, it makes the system run better and you can be more hands off. So to me, that's, you know, definitely one of my favorite features, right? Because without it, Kubernetes wouldn't be today, I think. Yeah, so those are the, yeah, yeah. The, the first features that's out there and they're still my favorites today. Yeah, the most basic ones, really. Uh, one single feature. So I would have to decide between, first of all, just the scheduling of parts that you say, okay, give me so and so many replicas and then just Kubernetes make sure they end up somewhere and, you know, you don't have to care about it. So the uh, this abstraction, well, or probably even more the, the service this, uh, discoverability. So the fact that you have the um, cluster internal service that, uh, resolution and you just say, okay, give me the, I don't know, coffee shop application and then it's backed by so and so many instances and, you know, the uh, the service does the load balancing to all of the, the number of replicas that you have. Because why I say this is I, I've seen it many, many times that you just had to set this up, um, um, you know, manually if you have a VM or just some, you know, uh, root server somewhere. And then, of course, you always have to somewhat install, I don't know, Nginx or HA proxy and then just proxy all the instances of all uh, so and so many instances that you have and, you know, have them in your uh, in, in your round there. So it's, you know, you just see the, the benefits. And this is really nice in Kubernetes that you say, you know, you write this in YAML, whether or not you like YAML, but it's definitely faster than, you know, setting up your own uh, reverse proxy or something. So I would say this is the favorite feature. This, this really helps. Yeah. That's yeah, the scheduler is just impressive. Uh, you know, if in the beginning you don't pay attention, but if you think what happens, everything behind the scenes, and uh, yeah, it's just yeah, it's just magic. Scaling. Scaling. Simply scaling. Why? Because who is just one common line? You can uh, scale up, um, um, uh, um, or down. Yeah. You can have five, ten, or um, 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 or more pouch yeah. when you want. Yes. And uh, for, for me, it's uh, when you use. Okay, uh, that it's a uh, simple, but it's a kind of a ma 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 magical things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I agree. When you just type this line and skill and oh, oh. how many replicas? Four and you. Five up. And, Five up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can uh, scale it down to theropod. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. 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 And if you use Knative, you don't need to do that. Knative will do that for you, scaling yeah. to zero. But yeah, yeah, that's yeah. really great. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, um, I like it. And uh, um, um, I like um, HPA, um, horizontal pod. Oh, oh yeah. Um, to the scaler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So far, um, what I really like, like a feature that uh, I really like, and that is not well known, is the init containers. So you you can you can have your your yeah you can describe a, a pod with multiple images, and sometimes you need to to initiate to initialize this or this uh, image when it starts, and these init containers allows you to do that. And the good thing is the contract is if basically until this initialize container has not finished successfully, then 
your containers, they won't start. Yeah. That's, that's really good. Meaning you, you can be sure that when you start, you have the exact states that you need. State. So for yeah, example, yeah, you yeah. can, yeah, you can read from a, a, a remote Git repository and, and put that into a shared volume in the pods and, and you know that it will be there when you start. That, that's, yes. I, I think it's a nifty feature that is, well, not as well known as it should be, but it, it's really good. Um, again, yeah. I'm not, I'm not an expert, so I probably there are a lot of features that are really great, but this one I love, at least for my usage. Yeah, no, that's really interesting. You're the first one mentioning the init container and, uh, yeah. To be and you, what is your favorite feature in Kubernetes? Share it in the comments. Bye bye.